Hello, hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. Today we are going to discuss about TAA, which is nothing but tumor associated antigens. There is another term that is tumor specific antigens, okay, TSA. So the difference between these is TSA, that is tumor specific are actually specific with the tumors, okay, these antigens are specific with tumors. And tumor associated antigens are like if the cancer is in developing stage, then some of these antigens, they are associated with the growth of tumor cells. So the levels get elevated. Okay. They are norm. They are also found normally. Okay. But the levels are very low. But if there is a case or a, a condition where a tumor is growing, then they will have or they will show elevated levels okay so that is the difference between taa so what you will learn today you will learn about tumor associated antigens and you can answer questions like write a short note on tumor associated antigens or why tumor associated antigens are not unique to cancer okay so the answer i told you just now in short okay so taa that is tumor associated antigens can be sorted a, sorry the tumor antigens can be sorted into two parts that is a specific antigen which only express on tumor cells and tumor associated antigens which also express on the surface of normal cells at lower levels such as glycoproteins and glycolipids okay so taa represent normal cellular proteins typically expressed only during specific developmental stages like the fetus or at extremely low levels in normal conditions but are upregulated in tumor cells okay so this is very important they are upregulated in tumor cells okay so those derived from mutation induced reactivation of certain fetal or embryonic genes they are called as oncofetal tumor antigens they normally only appear in or uh, only appear early in embryonic development before the immune system acquires the immunocompetence what is immunocompetence which means the normal immune response okay so these are some antigens which normally appear early in the embryonic development okay before actually the immune system uh, it recognizes it as antigen and it shows the immune response Okay, so that is about the oncofetal tumor antigens. Then when transformation of cells causes them to appear at later stages of development and neoplastic cells of the in sorry, it should be in neoplastic cells of the adults, they are recognized as non self and induced or they induce as immunogenic responses. Okay, so when transformation of cells happens it causes them to appear at the later stages of development okay in neoplastic cells of adults so neoplastic means the condition where the tumor is growing okay in the adult so they are recognized as non-self and thus they cause or they uh, elicit a immune response okay so two well studied oncofetal antigens are afp that is alpha fetoprotein and cea that is carcino embryonic antigen so already a video is uploaded separately for cea that is carcino embryon embryonic antigen and another video which is on tumor markers is also uploaded on my channel so you can check it out there okay for details so related to oncofetal antigens we will study afp and cea in short in short because you get a question where you need to specify at least two examples and this information is sufficient okay if you need details for some other question then please refer those two videos so afp is most abundant fetal protein alpha fetoprotein okay the elevated levels of this glycoprotein can be found in women especially during early stages of pregnancy okay then significantly elevated afp levels in non pregnant adults means in non pregnant that means anyone okay gents or ladies they are uncommon as 
in ovary or testicular or liver cancers you will find these okay if the patient that is he or she is suffering from a testicular or ovarian or liver cancer then these elevated levels of afp can be um, we can say it can be an indication okay that there is a stage of a tumor growing okay so whereas serum levels above 300 nanogram per ml can be indicative of even small lesions in asymptomatic individuals okay so there are many cases where the patient is having cancer but it is asymptomatic okay there are small lesions okay so even then or even at that condition you may find elevated levels like 300 nanogram per ml okay and that is indicative okay so monitoring of these levels can help clinicians to make prognosis and to elevate treatment sorry evaluate treatment effic efficacy especially in liver cancer okay so this is about a next is about cea that is carcino embryonic antigen so oncofetal membrane glycoprotein found on gastrointestinal and liver cells of 2 to 6 month old fetus okay so this is the normal condition where you will find this antigen approximately in case of patients say 90 percent of patients with advanced color uh, rectal cancer or 50 percent of patients with early colorectal cancer have increased levels of cea in their serum okay so some patients with other type of cancers they may also exhibit increased level of cea so it is considered as tumor marker okay so as it is not specific to a certain uh, cancer condition or a certain cancer type of cancer so cea is um, considered as a tumor marker because it can help to indicate or it can be a signal point to say that yes there is a tumor growing okay so there are different types of cancer where you may find elevated levels of CEA. So tumor associated antigens also include products of some oncogenes such as several growth factors and growth factor receptors. These proteins although transcribed in adults are normally tightly regulated and expressed only at low levels. Okay, for example, uh, melotransferrin that is P97 has fibroblast growth factor like activities. Okay, so whereas normal cells they express fewer than 800 molecules of these uh, melotransferrin that is P97 cell for on for or on melanoma cells. Okay, so the gene that codes for this mel uh, melotransferrin that is P97 has been cloned and a recombinant vaccinia virus has been prepared that carries the clone gene okay so now there is a recombination done and there is a recombinant vaccinia virus is prepared which carries this gene which is cloned okay so when this vaccine is injected into mice it induced both humoral and cell mediated immune response okay so which protected the mice against live melanoma cells expressing the p97 antigen okay so targeting such uh, oncogene products has yielded some significant clinical uh, success such as in the case of breast cancer over expressing the HER2 okay so this is the very good example you can also include this in your answer okay so the point here is that these tumor associated antigens they also include some products of oncogenes means cancer causing genes okay cancer related genes okay so product of these means when these genes are transcribed then there are some molecules which are made and they may be associated with this tumor associated antigens okay so the example is melotransferrin which is p97 so here is a diagrammatic representation of different mechanisms which generate tumor specific antigens and tumor associated antigens okay so for tumor specific antigen here is example given okay so cytosolic protein and human papilloma virus e6 and e7 is the example for tumor associated afp and ca okay oncofetal proteins and for overexpressed normal proteins the examples is 
or the examples are pro pro prostate specific membrane antigen prostate specific antigen and prostatic acid phosphatases okay so this was all about tumor associated antigens thank you for watching and like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram by the same handle that is microbial concepts okay and i'm working on sharing some pdfs of viva questions so keep checking the description box of upcoming videos okay if you want access to the pdf files then please 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 go to the description box okay so in few days i will be uploading that link as well so thank you for watching till then bye bye